Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always, and today I'd like to take a moment to just, just speak directly to Rice Gum. Yeah, yes, that's right guys, I want to speak to the guy that iDubs TV has recently drugged through the fucking mud and absolutely destroyed in a 30 plus minute video. And, and I'm not here to add to it, I'm not here to repeat anything he said, to like, you know, prove like, yeah, you fucking suck dude, you're a piece of garbage, you're a little fucking bitch. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually here, Rice Gum, to help you. See, me and you at this point are kindred spirits. There's some kind of bond that me and you have now that, that very few people have and that no one could ever take away from us. Yeah, that's right. We're both victims of iDubs TV. See, over two years ago, iDubs TV, I don't know if you know this, he only had like 90,000 90, subs at the time, but he used to do a series called Kickstarter Crap. And on this Kickstarter Crap, it was very similar to the Content Cop, except he would find uh, shitty Kickstarters of people trying to ask for money and shit like that when they don't deserve it or haven't put the effort in and blah, blah, blah. And I ended up being one of these victims. And he destroyed me in his video. And, and here's the irony of it all. I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved the fucking video. I thought it was great. And the response we made, we were very sarcastic. We, th we thought it was obvious sarcasm. Apparently we were wrong. People just thought we were retarded. Uh, but we went hard on the retardation. Uh, maybe a little too hard. If we knew people weren't going to pick up on it, we wouldn't have done that. And, you know, hindsight's 2020. But either way, uh, we were acting all butthurt and shit like that. Like, acting like even like kind of whining a little bit. And I did something like a pfft, pfft, pfft. I mean, it was, I, I don't know, I thought it was obvious sarcasm, but uh, moving on, I, I digress. Uh, the, afterwards, the response was fucking awful. I mean, the like-dislike ratio in all my videos just went to shit. And for over two years after that, the like-dislike ratio in my videos was fucking garbage. It's still garbage. I mean, look, look, look through my videos. The proof is in the pudding. Look through my videos. And I understand my videos aren't that great, but for a channel my, my size, if you look at any other channel my size, uh, the people that are following them are usually fucking fans that like your videos, and you have a positive like-dislike ratio, and if you get a few dislikes in there, it's just the way it fucking works. But because I, uh, you know, didn't handle the situation with iDubs correctly in the beginning, I will have to maybe forever face this like dislike curse. So a year went by, uh, a lot of things happened on my channel, a lot of things changed, but I grew and I grew and I grew and it, it felt great. I was up to like a thousand subs or something like that. And I decided on the year anniversary that I wanted to thank iDubs. I want to thank him because one, he opened my eyes to what I was some shit I was doing wrong. But two, he revitalized the channel I had literally given up on at the point. And now I was doing this thing and it was so much fun. I was having a blast and all this stuff. So I made a long video saying thank you to iDubs. And in that video, I kind of explained how I, you know, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the gator fucked up once. It happens. You know, it can't be this perfect all the time. But I admitted it. And the craziest thing happened. I got a huge positive response. I got a huge surge in subs. I got tons of people that were like, you know what, you manned up. You, you admit it fought, you, you, you just took it, you took it like a man. And they were like, you know, such a great response to that. I couldn't believe it. I was like, well shit guys, I felt this way a year ago, but I didn't say it. I didn't handle it correctly. I didn't have someone like me to come and tell me, hey Gator, hey Gator, don't fuck up. Don't make the wrong video. Don't make a diss track Gator. No one told me any of these things. No one told me. This brings me to the point of this video. Rice gum, don't make a diss track. Don't fucking do it. I know every ounce in your body, every single cell, every molecule is telling you, I gotta make a diss track on iDubs right now. I gotta make a diss track on iDubs right now. I gotta make a diss track on iDubs right fucking now. You don't, you don't though. It's, it's, it's not something that you absolutely have to do. That's just something that you think you have to do, but you don't. I'm here to help rice gum. Come on, gum boy. Hell, l listen, focus. Okay, focus, focus. I saw I saw the quick response video that you put out where you said you need some days to think about it. You need to put some time into it. I dub spent all this time to make this video, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna take more than a day for you to figure out what you're, you know, how you're gonna respond to the whole fucking thing. And to that, I'm calling fucking bullshit. If anyone doesn't read right through that fucking BS, then they're just as dumb as you are because you don't need a lot of time to respond. It's very simple. It, he wasn't wrong about anything. He, he, all the things he said, all the points he said, it was valid. So just get in front of the camera, and, and I'm gonna give you like, this is like an impromptu kind of fucking, you know, thing you could do here. Be like, hey guys, uh, Rice Gum here. Uh, I saw the recent iDubs video, and you know, to be honest with you guys, everything he said is right, you know? 
I, I, I messed up on a lot of different levels. I've made a lot of mistakes. You know, I'm only human and uh, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, uh, I've made a lot of money. A lot of things happened really fast in my life. And uh, through all of that, sometimes I got a little bit too much into my head and I made some mistakes because of it. Now I can just tell everyone, and, and I mean this from the absolute bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the guy I've been. And I promise you this here today, going forward, I'm not gonna be that guy. Cause that's not who I really am, not on the inside. I'm just trying to make everybody think I'm this, you know, this crazy cool guy. And you know, I overdo a lot of shit and you know, I, I make some fucking mistakes. And uh, you know, I've realized this though. And I wanna move forward and all I can ask is that maybe at some point down the road, each and every one of you can forgive me. Thank you guys. I mean, would that be so hard to do? <laughs> you know, it's so much easier than writing a diss track. I mean, you coming up with a bunch of raps and all that shit and having a bunch of people, paying a bunch of money, putting a whole bunch of fucking shit into it. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't need to be complicated. Don't, don't, don't suffer like Leafy has suffered. Don't suffer like uh, fucking Keemstar went through and how he suffered. Don't suffer how the Gator has suffered. You don't have to lose yourselves. You don't have to go with an insanely bad dislike bar. If you come out and you, you talk like that, you, you, you take responsibility and you say you're gonna move forward and what you're gonna notice, it's gonna surprise you. People are going to respect you on a level that they've never respected you before. I, I'm telling you this because I'm a friend. Like I said, we're kindred spirits. We've both been through something that not very many people have been through. We can relate to one another. You know, maybe we'll start a support group. I don't know, maybe. I don't wanna rule anything out. But listen, if you, if you come out with a diss track, if you come out and try to defend yourself, you're gonna look weak, you're gonna look pathetic, and you're gonna look like a little bitch. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in. I, I really appreciate it. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but I felt obligated, you know? You know, I, I, see, I see this happening, and I see, you know what? Ricegum's gonna follow that same fucking path as everybody else. And I said, Gator, you can do something about it. You know, you could sit by and you could watch a uh, you know, car accident happen or you can try to stop it. You know, if you have that chance to try and stop something bad before it happens, I think we're all obligated to do that. And I hope today I've done that. Bryce Gum, good luck to you, buddy. I hope you make the right choice. And to the rest of you, as always, I've been the Gator and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.